Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the so far We are jumping in again on a little three streak and I think this time we're going to jump in as good old Samuel. Uh, I do like a bit of scythe swinging. How much we got to do as him? Um, we've got to do... Greedy mode and... Hush? Is that just Hush? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Hush is kind of a bit of a difficult one with this guy. That was a very good hit, good sir. I commend you for that. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. I have an idea. Kamikaze might be good with Malak Mot. Maybe? Do you think that'll work? I don't know. I'm hoping it doesn't deal direct damage to us and therefore... Ah, you can't use it. That's some... That's some sad stuff. Okay, so Kamikaze is literally useless. That's that's a real shame. I thought that was going to be a pretty cool synergy there. Uh, but I guess the developers thought about that and said, Hey, that seems too fun. That seems too fun. We all love a bit of too much fun. Oh, I pressed the wrong goddamn button. I meant to Malik Mot. Yeah, if I use it, I just can't press space bar at all. That's actually... Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll be honest. That would have been a really interesting and fun synergy that's pretty rare. Um, but yeah, it seems like... Ah, uh, there's something they've done with other stuff. Dude, I'm sorry, but I'm taking way too much damage to some horse shit right now. Okay, let's let's try and be a little bit better, shall we? Try and be a little bit better. Have we got an XL floor here? No, we don't. Just a lot of big rooms is all. Just a lot of big rooms. Do you know when I said let's be better? Apparently I was just lying. Fuck this room. Makes me feel better that there's two soul hearts in here. Why did that say Beetlejuice? I don't think that's what that was, game. I don't think that is even remotely what that was. Beetlejuice? Why did it say that? <laughs> uh, that's the question of the day. What's your favourite film that you've watched this year? I'd be interested to know. Okay. Grab that. So yeah, we're just trying to go for Hush, so we can kind of speed along here. Unfortunately, our first floor, little bit of a bust. Also, by the way, I've, I've tweaked some audio settings and stuff, so I don't know if everything will sound the same. I hope it does. It should, by the looks of everything. Everything's back to normal. But um, we'll have to just kind of figure it out as we go here and see. Yeah, a little, little bit annoyed that I can't Kamikaze. I would love to Kamikaze. But yeah, I I'm really glad that we got the Soul Hearts there to get back our health that we've lost from being dumb. And I'm very glad to say there's a planetarium here as well. What could it be? Luna. I quite like Luna. I quite like Luna. What was this? Lose all of your keys. Eh, we'll save that for later, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I really like Luna for the extra fire rate increases, but also an extra secret room pair floor can be very lucrative. Ooh, hello. I would very, very much like to get this guy. This spirit boy can be very good. We'll see if we can end up affording him later. I always forget you can chop the heads off of those guys. It looks like we probably will be able to afford him, actually. And the earlier you get him, the better he is. Uh, essentially, he'll just spawn shops every now and again where we can buy extra items or trade some of our consumables or items for other items. It's pretty cool. It's an interesting idea. Oh, dude, that little bouncy shit got me again. I'm not having it happen again. I'm not having it happen again. That's evil, right? Still got our item room to go this floor as well. That could be something quite tasty for us. It's obviously always going to be the case with melee characters that you're a little bit more risk, you're standing close to things, it's it's, it's going to happen. What would be really, really nice if we could find a spicy little blue map. Ooh, blue map Luna is the dream. Especially if we have uh, more bombs. I mean, we do technically have unlimited explosives as long as we're willing to trade our HP away for it. So, I guess. <laughs> technically we're okay. Right. In here, we got something very, very nice. Good old Big Scythe Polly with a big damage. Piercing doesn't really affect us that much, and it's a pretty big fire rate down, but it's a pretty large damage up, so I think I'll say it's okay. We can also charge up our shot here for this, and we've still got Malak Mot as well, which is going to allow us to swing our Scythe back and forth at some quite large speeds. This will give us a penny that we need. Lovely. And Butter is actually not a bad idea. <gasps> Hierophant as well. Oh my god, the game today. The game today is is seeing my sins and it's making up for it. Right. What up, my friend? What up, my pal? I've come to purchase you once again. So let's have a look. Spawns a bargaining chip in starting rooms and certain special rooms. The spirit of bargaining offers one of three deals. Deals can be item pickups um, such as 
rerolls and all that sort of thing. It's cool. So there you go. Look, special room here. We'll see. Pick up the bargaining chip and we'll see what's on offer. It'll create a little shop that we can use here, I guess. Crash the game. Almost. Two soul hearts for a random item. Three keys for 12 pennies. I don't think we want any of that right now. Although it could be a secret room item, so I guess it is a good idea, but I'm going to have to take the 12 pennies to get there. Oh, I can only take the 12 pennies. Okay. Okay. Didn't didn't think that's what that that's, would be how that works. Good to know, though. Good to know. Right. Hello, hello. Ooh, 15 for Polly. <laughs> 11 cent for two soul hearts. Yes, please. Cool. I like this already. I'm already very into this. So a lot of our special rooms and stuff are going to have those in them. Sometimes our starting rooms as well, as you can see. We're going to be using those whenever we get the chance. Paris rags for a heart. Goddamn hell yes. Oh god. Got a little bit stuck on the creep there. More money is going to be good for this. Make sure we've got Malik Mott ready to use. Oh god, I hate the goddamn flying enemies. Get back over here, you. I'll let you just destroy that for me. Thank you. We've got our secret room over there. We we'll probably go and get that first for the fire rate boost, to be honest. But at this point, let's just go for the boss. Dude, the Hierophant cards and stuff are being crazy. Oh, our, our butter became golden as well. Does golden butter do anything? Hmm. Right, Malak Mott. Good old Necronomicon in there. And there's our next bargaining chip as well. Ooh, that's a lot of soul heart costs for things that I don't particularly need very much. So I'm sorry, bargaining chip. This time, it will not be for you. But it's really, really cool item, though, I've got to say. Really interesting stuff there. Right, back this way we go. Did we see our item room last floor? I don't think we did. I don't remember. Did we see our item room last floor? People are going to have to clue me into whether I did or not, because I don't think I did. What, what would it have been? Oh, no, it was Polly, wasn't it? It was Polly, right? Oh, 10 cent for an item that does nothing for us? Thank you. Not a bad trade at all. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, Papyrus Rags can activate some effects that aren't great. Um, I think I'll take... Oh, wait, what's 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 this at the end here? There's a re-roll of this. I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, I got rid of it to re-roll the room. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, but it's happened. Okay, I thought it would re-roll the item itself, not re-roll the room. I have learnt now. I have been taught. Blank rune. Hands is pretty Soul nice. Surleon of Apollyon. Not bad, not bad. Right. Next secret room. We got clear rune up there. I think I'll take clear rune, thank you. Kind of got sad I use solely on Napoleon now. We get algae, which is fine, I guess. Evil charm. Ten cents to get rid of my thingy. Uh, they're all a bit meh. Why did I throw that bomb like that? What happened there? <laughs> HP, I guess. Four cent for butter. Nah. 
Some of these just aren't good deals. I want more bombs, please. Good view to waste all my explosive ones on this enemy that couldn't take damage. Always fun. Oh, fuck me. Okay, let's let's try and use our uh, throne abilities to take care of the explosive ones, shall we? Okay, we've got another thingy room there. We do got algae to, to use whenever. I've not got a specific use case in mind at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find one. Okay, let's go and do our boss now. We've got nothing else to do on this floor, really. Okay. Malak Mott will use you. Actually, let's pop Algis and then Malak Mott. I'm pretty sure I have to have Algis in my active slot for Clear Rune to recognize it, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So, oh, uh, we've, we've done our boss, okay. Um, yeah, I think we just go. Not going to trade HP for those sort of things, I'm sorry, but just not a good deal game. Just not a good deal. Again, there's some, there's some stuff here that just isn't... 24 cent for Polly. No thank you. Who would ever take such a deal? I don't know. Also, I've got a Bozo outfit right now. Oh, I've got Bozo as a let me get him wisp, I see. Shielded is very nice for us right now. Photon for three soul hearts. I will take that. Even though it doesn't do much for us, um with this character, it does give us a pretty decent damage up. And it also gives a fire rate up, so I think overall it's pretty good going. And fire rate up especially. I like the way that the enemies get revived and instantly die. Oh, come on, bombs. I'm needing you now. I need you now more than ever, bombs. Yeah, rooms like that could be great. We can just get an extra item purchased. Okay. And slippity slice. And slice. A little bit of money. There's our book being a bit funky. Don't exactly know what happened there, but... It didn't seem to affect us for all that long, so it's not really that big of a problem. I'm loving with this damage how quickly Malik Mop becomes available again. That was a weird room. Very weird room. Don't think I've ever seen that one before. Couldn't have done that in the last room where we actually had something worth bombing, could you? Right. So many keys. No bombs, though. Oh, dude, shielded tears is so nice with this setup. It's going to help so much on bosses. Red chest. Oh, the soul hearts. They just keep coming. There are fuel and the game knows it. How did that... How is this not killing you? I can only kill you in your heads up, but you're not that type of enemy, which is strange. Should go and check out shop. I, like I said, I really would like to get blue map, even though we don't have bombs right now to be able to make it effective. It would still be very nice. Ow. Bad hit. Come on, shop. You have to be in the last place I didn't check. Of course, the money could be better spent on our spirit of bargaining, but eh. I've got to remember as well that my clear rune is going to end up dropping uh, on the floor when I use it. Nah, nothing there's worth it. Like I say, sometimes the spirit of bargaining is going to be pretty terrible. Other times it's going to be very, very good. I think it's just going to be luck of the draw, what we get, really. We're not really too in charge. I don't think I'm really going to use my Algis rune all that much either. My clear rune, Algis rune combo. Beautiful. We did indeed get an angel deal here. Nice. Uh, I think I guess I'll just take that. Some extra bombs. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't get a Spirit of Bargaining in here. 
I've got this item that makes me throw my bombs, and I don't know where it's from. So it's not. It's definitely not one of the items that I have on me. It makes it more confusing. I'll take that. As a revive. Yeah, I don't know. Not not super happy here with with all of this. Not super happy here. Do you know what's actually kind of an interesting idea? I think with clear rune plus butter, we can get a higher charge. Oop, I don't know what's going on right now. My screen's black. What's going on here? Oh no. Warp zone is having some issues apparently. Is that is this what's causing it? I don't know what's happening. I can't escape the game or anything. One second. Okay, we are back, and I think it's fixed. It looks all fine to me. But basically, my, my thinking here was that... So, Clear Rune, normally it, it takes the amount of charges... Oh, this is interesting. Normally, Clear Rune takes the amount of charges that, it re that is required to charge up whatever rune you've got. But... Yeah. But, the difference is that when you drop it, it resets back to four charges. So, we could get a 12 room charge... Um, on something, for example, um, I think the Soul of Cain is 12 or something. Uh, Yera is 12, and then have it as a four rune charge, I think. We just, need, we just need a good enough rune to test out this theory with, essentially. Which obviously we don't have right now. But I'm intrigued by the prospect of it, because it could work. It just so happens that, unfortunately, we have something that's exactly four charges, so we can't test it. If it was three charges or five charges or whatever, we'd be able to test it easy, but... We can't. Right, at least we can get our secret room this time. And get our spirit of bargaining in there as well as our um, boosting fire rate. Puts us in a much better spot. Nothing there, unfortunately. It was super appetizing. I need to make sure that it doesn't spawn near the door. I don't know if there's any way to like influence where it spawns, but it keeps spawning like in really inconvenient positions. Big IO wizard. Don't know what the big IO wizard actually does, if anything. Dim bulb, don't think that does much for us either. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting run we got going on. I'm really hoping we can make this uh, butter combination work. If it works the way I think it does, it might not. Oh, for f I just got rid of an item and I don't know what it was. That is one of the books I hate that can show up. Luckily, I traded it for a damage up, but I don't know what I traded, so not ideal. Libra? Four keys to re-roll. Yes, please. Little monstros. A little bit better, but not great. <laughs> but wasn't really feeling Libra. Oh, cool. This, uh, this fires a photon shot now. That's uh, interesting. I don't know if that's useful. No, it's probably not useful. <laughs> that fires Furton shots now. It's kind of weird. I didn't think about that when I uh, picked up Furton, to be honest. Kind of makes that maybe a little less appealing. And there's some books like that that make no sense. There definitely needs to be some blacklisted books off of Papyrus Rags. Because at the minute it's anything tagged with book and doesn't particularly work in all scenarios. Good old Red Stew. I will, of course, buy Red Stew. And then... Eh. Not that intrigued by any of that, but yeah. Red Stew, doing some great stuff for us right now. Come back, you. We're going to one-shot pretty much everything for a little while here. That's not too bad. I looked at that room and I was a little bit scared to start with, but oh, I fucking... Man. People need to stop with these fucking rooms, man. Just tedium. Okay. Necronomicon there, was that? Because all these guys are very close to reform HP. I mean, not that we weren't going to one-shot them anyways, but you know what I mean. Oh, hello. Murder. 
Everything you touch dies. Oh, what the hell? Don't know what that was about. Nice and easy. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I can still take damage to him, are you kidding me? Debug 10. Die. Yeah, there is something crazy going on with Warp Zone right now. Like, page up. Look at, look at this. There's something crazy going on with Warp Zone. Maybe you might want to look at that. Okay. Back in here. We've got some choices here. Unfortunately, not some great choices, to be honest. I think I'm going to take Job's family, which again, it says Isaac Reshaken. Complete lie. It's not from Isaac Reshaken at all. I don't know what's going on with Isaac Reshaken slash other mods to make that happen, but it's pretty weird, because I know that's from the Job mod. Oh, my chip. My chips are down. Why did Infestation 2 just disappear? What was that about? Buddy in a box, thank you. Got a nice little following of friends now. We are still trying to do hush, remember, so we do need to be slightly speedy. That is not what I meant to use. My Aldous rune is gone now. Oops. Obviously, I meant to pop my Malik Mot. Guess what I did? I did not pop my Malik Mot. Our health is really good right now as well. And our range is pretty spicy as well. Oh, I couldn't quite reach you. There you go. Weird, those guys don't have like a hit sound effect when you get them. I might be trading out my uh, blank rune at this point. Depending on the books we get given here. Well, unfortunately, we don't really know. That doesn't do anything for us. Oh, really? I thought that was breakable. My bad. Okay, we'll maybe come back for those other two books. But paying for books that should be free in a library doesn't seem like the smartest of decisions. Do any of you used to, like, go to the library with your library card as a kid? That's, like, a thing of the past now, but it's, like, libraries are still pretty cool. <laughs> They're still pretty darn useful. You used to be able to, like, rent games from the magazines and stuff. Lazrags. Ugh. You see, like, what's, what's, what's this? Five bombs for a mystery item. Okay. Celestial Crown is the mystery item. I thought, I thought that was what it was. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use Celestial Crown here, though, in this situation. Seems like my buddies are able to, though, so that's that's good. Mystery item again. Oh, it's Pot of Gold. We keep getting Pot of Gold recently. It seems to be uh, the flavor of the month right now. But I quite like Pot of Gold, so I do not mind. I will always take the random items. Spider Bite. Itchy Spider Bite. Good old Spider Bite. Oh, God. Oh my lord. Just walk into everything there. Healing penny. Not that it's very useful, but thank you. Sacrificial blood. Come on, runes, where are you? Where art thou runes? My character's looking kind of gnarly right now, I've got to admit. Ooh, we've got the weird version of pin here. So I don't really know what this version of pin does. I know that he dies. <laughs> if that's something that we're looking to uh to look into. I know that he dies. Yeah, blue pin, the one that gives us the soul heart. Now we've got his own unique flavor to him. Apparently, we're, we've still got damage from red stew at the moment. I'm kind of expecting that to have faded away by now, but it's, it's still going. Good old red stew. Oh, come on now. It's got to be back over there, really. On our way back we go. We've also not been finding secret rooms much recently, considering we've got Luna. Oh, wait. We, we don't have Luna. That's one of the items we lost. Ah, oh, game. That's just evil. I didn't realize we lost Luna. It's kind of saddening. My bad for not noticing on that. Oops. Good old penny there. Good old other penny there. Use Malik Mot a little too early there. Oops. Nice and easy.
Sacrifice Red Stew for a reroll. I don't want to reroll either of these, so... I guess I just take the negative in this situation. We're only going to hush, right? I mean, Red Stew is something I can give up without it being very detrimental to us, but still. Give me that. Ten cent for Steam Sale. What a, what a deal. Two bombs for Booster Pack. I think that's a decent idea. Find in the room of freezing. Spawn an item for the current room's pool. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that and try and find the secret room, I guess. I'm not quite sure what the secret room will be. Yeah, I love this pot of gold item. It's really good. And it, it seems to be showing up like all the goddamn time. Don't you go munching on these guys. None of us want that. Secret room, where art thou? Oh god, this is a bit of a sticky situation of a room here. There's a lot going on. Why were some of those little wee babies not, not the bloody variant ones? I thought, I thought they were the only ones you could see. Come on, guys. Ugh, make me come all the way around. There's been a pretty goddamn crazy run as this guy. It's not, like, uber powerful, but, I mean... Anything off of the back of Polly is pretty powerful, right? Friends till the end. Necronomicon. I do love it when it does Necronomicon like that. Health up. We do have PhD still, right? Or was that last run? I don't remember. We've got a Joker here. I'm just going to pop the Joker and get the Bible. Ugh. Honestly... Yeah, I'm just going to take the Bible. It's not very good, but it's going to let us insta-kill the boss. At this point, clear runes are literally doing nothing for me, and this game is showing no signs of wanting to give us an, uh, a new rune. So... Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, that was really cool. That guy was like a rainbow version of himself, but it looked really cool. What up, mama? Mama. Ooh. What, what, what is this? 21 cent for what? what? What is this? Oh, it just duplicates our item pedestal. Right, let's see. Fire it up. Fire it up, okay. That's all I care about. And then clear runes back in here. We've got double fire it up. I, we probably got some damage downs in there, but... Fire it is good stuff. Catcher's mitt or something there. Door stop as well. I think we're prepared for Hushy. We're going to have Malak Motto, like, available pretty much all the time. Oh, this is really annoying. Okay, we've got to try and find our secret room this floor. I think it might be right here, actually. It isn't right there. Shit. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. I find secret room on the womb really, really difficult to suss out. Okay, luckily you're not too bad. When you're center of center of the room like that. I really don't see it. I think it's just because the floor's so big, there's so many places it could be. On the earlier floors, there's obviously so much less room to work with, so there's only like three or places, it, three or four places it could end up being, and it's usually pretty obvious which one it is. I don't know if we have a floor cast here, but I'll take it. Yes, I'm not sure if we're going to get it this floor. We also don't have any keys for the hush floor, which I didn't really notice. I think I just traded some away for that door, so... Not ideal, so we're looking for uh, thingy pennies. What are they called? You know what I mean. Those ones. <laughs> Flat pennies. Got kidney stone randomly here? But yeah, who knows how many of those pennies we're going to end up getting. Probably not a ton. Especially before the boss. 
Remember to use our book when we get to the boss, otherwise it's a bit of a waste. Hey, we need at least two. Two's, two's enough. Book has been used. And nothing much in there, really. Um, still got our lover's card. I guess I could quickly try and find secret room here. Ah. Shame. Right. Hush. Here we go. And then after hush, I don't really know. Guess we could just go to delirium, because why not? Pyro, we'll take. Although I don't really know why. I guess it's just. I just Pyro is just one of those items that's nice to have, I guess. Um, okay. I think we are good to go. Right, with Malik Mot going, we should be able to just pop Malik Mot pretty much constantly. Kind of constantly. We've got shielded tears as well, so we're pretty protected. Shouldn't have too hard a time here. It's just going to be slow going, I think, this. I don't think it's going to be a quick fight. Because we don't have a ton of damage. Like, 21 is great, but 21 with 2.5 fire rate's not, like, insane or anything. It's really going to be waiting for Malik Mott to do the big chunks of damage. Right. Just chilling. Killing some hush. Gotta love it. Oh god, I just I was itching my neck. I didn't realise he was doing the movement thing. Guess what, people? New washing machines installed, it's all working correctly. The excitement of adult life. <laughs> it's actually it's actually quite nice to have a new one. Which is yeah. As an adult, it's it's sad to be happy about those things. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is what life has come to. But it is very nice to have a new washing machine. The old one was terrible. It's a breath of fresh air. One less thing to worry about. Yeah, unfortunately as you can see. Isn't exactly a quick process here. Yeah, I don't think Malik Mott's charging as fast as I thought it was, because I think it charges faster when you're hitting, like, multiple enemies. And we're only obviously hitting one. It still charges pretty fast, mind you. Obviously, we are invincible while it's popped as well. Doesn't last a ton of time, though. But we're at the halfway point now. We're only another few minutes to go. <laughs> Hush is just such a dull fight, unfortunately. I really wish something would be done about second phase Hush. It, like, it's a decent fight. Like, it's not, like, it's hard enough, and it's, it's, like, it, it's a, it's an okay design fight. It just, like, once you've done it this many times, it is just really dull. Because it's just, like, it's basically just effectively sitting in one or two spots, moving around very minimally, and keep on hitting him. There's not really much other bits to it. So it gets a little bit tedious. Especially when he goes underground and just delays the inevitable. You know you're gonna die, son. So why try? Right, trying to get some bombs in where I can, but it's not always worth it. Bombs do go through boss armor, so we do quite a bit of extra damage. Okay, we got him. Spirit of Depression! Huzzah! <laughs> Thank you, Spirit of Depression. Okay. Then I guess it's just the hush floor. Hush floor, delirium floor. Where, I don't know, are we just gonna die or are we actually gonna try and do delirium? Because we've kind of achieved our goal at this point, but I don't really want to throw everyone away, I guess. Maybe we'll just make some really stupid decisions. Stitches for a bomb? Yes, please. Just go in all guns blazing with absolutely no regard for our safety. That's how we're going to play this. Yeah, 
killing stuff pretty fast, but Del Delirium's going to be an absolute pain, so I don't even want to bother with Delirium. Goddamn, what the heck? This is a really weird room. Oh, I lost my repairing heart. Oh god, the slideys are actually kind of difficult to manage. I mean, the black heart killed a lot of them, though. Oh, that's really satisfying to scythe through all of that. Probably should have saved that, but what's done is done. There's a petrified poop right at the end there, of course. Oh, I did not mean to pop that, but holy shit, we got C-section. Um, does C-section do anything? Is it Photon that ruins C-section? Let me just try this out. Remove Photon. Yeah, it is. It's really annoying that Photon is like a, such a cool synergistic item, but it, it completely ruins C-section. But we'll stick with C-section, thank you. Just for funsies. I can't believe I accidentally used that and it gave me C-section. What in the hell? What in the hell? Beautiful buddies. The good old burn fellas that this throws. Okay. Okay, finally got some bosses. And... The bosses are gonna die very quickly. How come we're getting so many random tier effects? Oh, it's from our, um... It's from our Celestial Crown. I was wondering why we're getting so many random tier effects, but... Celestial Crown does that, doesn't it? Nice. Pirate Rice for three soul hearts. Never. I would never. Oh shit. Right. I wrote my very own story very quickly at the end there. Ah, oh, how was I meant to avoid damage there? Good old Holy Grail though. Deceiver heart here as well. The heart that isn't a heart. Right. Interesting how this run has developed. Sorry if my energy is slightly lacking in this one. I've been awake for a while and I've been recording a lot for Christmas. I'm enjoying myself though. Oh, we don't have the Bible anymore. Shit. Keeper's Kin. Not bad. Spider Baby Transformation. Heart for whatever item this is. Oh, really? Thank you. A heart for a heart. I feel so blessed. But yeah, we've got like this tech item doing stuff and don't know where it's all coming from. We're going to be nearing the end of this floor. How many bosses have we done? Three? I, I, don't, I never remember how many there is. It's six. We've taken quite a lot of bad damage to be fair. Despite the craziness that I've got going on. Okay. Still no delirium. Screw. Uh, that's a that's quite a big chunk of fire right there, so I don't mind that. Four bombs for a random item. More tears up. Okay, baby. This is good stuff. I mean, my my my, my little C section buddies are quite a little bit smaller now. Feel a little bit, a little bit tiny. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Even with flight, that was not going to go well. Like I said, I'm just calling it quits with this run and just saying fuck it and just running at things because we don't need to beat Delirium at all. This is just a victory lap, essentially. I don't, I'm not trying to build a streak for any reason. I don't mind if we die. Easy. The shade, I've not shared in a long time. Two red hearts for three soul hearts. What a deal. Good old non regenerable hearts. Gotta love them. <laughs> I 
I love that sometimes the fucking C-section baby is just a penny. <laughs> Tech X. Lead pencil. Okay. Still somehow not found the boss though. I mean, every which way but the right way. It's always the case. Okay, we only had Tech X for that one room by the looks of it. It wasn't a forever thing. It was some sort of book that just gave us tech for a room, which I don't even know what book that would be. It was it to give you a random item for a room, maybe? And I just got lucky with the tech item. So I swear there's a tech book, but I'm pretty sure it gives you the tech item for the floor, not the room, so... I don't think it was that. Unless I'm just mistaken, it only gives you it for the room. Where art thou, boss? Oh my god. I was like, oh shit, they're explosive, but I was like, nope. I'm immune. I got Pyro. Ooh, range up is actually pretty good. It does make our scythe bigger. We don't mind a bigger scythe. So now our charge up is so fast, we can actually hit them with the scythe at the same time, spawning a C-section. And yet again, another not the boss we want. Battery acid. Not that that's useful for us right now. It's a cool item. Fuck it, why not? Why the hell not? It's interesting, I think. What was that thing in the last room there that I saw? An item on the floor. Oh, Book of Sin, because it's still got butter, I see. Well, this has been hectic as shit. <sighs> Hello, Delirium. We've come with minimal health and incorrect items. I've been hit already. I can't even see what's going on anymore, so... Good luck to me, I guess. Like, where's the boss? I don't even know where the boss is. Okay. Just stomped on me. <laughs> Am I dead? Am I alive? What's going on? No, I'm dead. Okay. Well, that was intriguing. I hope you guys did enjoy that run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.